everyone, my name is Arsalan Farooq and I teach math and physics. In this video, I will discuss a topic of P3 that is integration by substitution. The substitution would always be given to you. And the second thing is that you must always be able to do the substitution entirely. That is the old variable should have been completely gone and you should have the entirely new variable in the equation. Um, and to be able to do that, what you're going to have to do is that every time the substitution that is given to you, you would have to differentiate that equation of substitution as well so that you can get the substitute of the dx variable as well you have to do the substitution you have to differentiate so that you can do the substitution of dx as well and then obviously you need to make sure that you might need to make some sort of algebraic rearrangement so that all of the variable is being substituted entirely it's an effective way in many situations to make difficult integrals solvable quite easily but also it is a technique that makes a lot of integrals which are which are entirely unintegrable that can be integrated by this particular method. Let's have a look at an example. I have been given an integral that is integral of 3x minus 2 to the power 3 dx and I have to use a substitution u is equal to 3x minus 2. I can see I can integrate this function directly as well but since the requirement is to do it by substitution I will pick up the substitution equation and the first thing I should do is that I will differentiate that equation. I get du by dx is equal to 3. I can cross multiply and I can get myself the substitution for dx which is going to be 1 upon 3 du. So 3x minus 2 can be entirely replaced by u, so it becomes u cube, and in place of dx, I can replace 1 upon 3 du. And the integral becomes u cube times 1 upon 3 du. I can take the constant 1 upon 3 outside, I have to integrate u cube, so I can directly apply the power formula, it's a very simple integral, it becomes u 4 upon 4. 4 times 3 becomes 12. And once I have done my integration, now I can bring the original variable back because the substitution was only to ease up my integration process. But once I've done the integration process, now I can bring back the old variable. So which was 3x minus 2. So in place of u, I can replace 3x minus 2 and it becomes 3x minus 2 to the power 4 divided by 12 plus the constant. Let's have a look at another example where um, although the integration without substitution is possible but it's going to be very very tedious. If I want to really integrate this without the substitution I'm going to have to do the entire binomial expansion of this particular factor and once I expand it into six terms and I'll multiply each term by x and then I will perform integration. This example tells you how easy your integration is going to become in situations where you apply substitution. The substitution is known to us, 1 minus x is equal to u. I will always differentiate this equation, du by dx comes out to be minus 1 and hence dx will be equal to minus du. So now I will do my substitution. I know that in place of 1 minus x I can write u and in place of dx I can write minus du. But there still is no substitution provided for x. So what do I do for that? Not a big problem. I can rearrange this equation to get myself x. So if I shift x on the right hand side and u on the left hand side, it becomes 1 minus u is equal to x. So I know that in place of x, I can replace 1 minus u. So in place of x, I wrote 1 minus u in place of 1 minus x. I wrote u and this of dx I wrote minus du. Once I've done all of that now I can simply multiply these terms together so u5 into u into minus 1 becomes u6 and u5 into minus 1 into 1 becomes negative u5. These two terms are very easily directly integrable so I can apply the power formula onto them u6 integrates to u7 upon 7 and u5 integrates to u6 upon 6. Once I've done my process of integration, I can rewrite the old variable in place of u, which is 1 minus x, and that's going to be my answer. In another example, I have been given a function, which is 2x squared, x cubed minus 1 to the whole power 3 dx, and I've been provided the substitution as x cubed minus 1 is equal to u. 
I can differentiate it and I know that in place of xq minus 1 I can write down u but please don't hurry on towards trying to find out the substitution for x square as you will see in this example if I take the equation of substitution and I differentiate it you can see that the x square is already part of this derivative which means I don't have to look for the substitution of x square and this derivative will directly give me the substitution of x square and dx which means in place of x square and dx product I can write down 1 upon 3 du in place of x cubed minus 1 I can write u so I will rearrange this integral I write 2 in the beginning x cubed minus 1 I've just written x squared with dx which I can see can be directly substituted as 1 upon 3 du x cubed minus 1 is replaced by u which has a whole power 3 and there's a 2 outside as well the 2 and 3 will come out as a constant and you see how simple this integral becomes and once you have u cube you can apply the power formula it gets integrated and once it gets integrated you can replace u by the original function which is x cube minus 1 and that is going to be your integrated result let's have a look at another example where initially the integral looks very very complicated substitution is provided to us so if we use that substitution we differentiate it we get ourselves sec square x dx so sec square x dx can be directly replaced by du and tan x can be replaced by u so it becomes u square so see how simpler this integral becomes u square du and I can directly apply the formula and you will get yourself the integral and once you've gotten the integral you can replace the original function back um, in another example you'll see that like in some questions I may have to uh, do the substitution alongside some um, trigonometric formulas as well so if I have x is equal to sine theta I differentiated it I got dx by d theta is cos theta and dx is equal to cos theta d theta now once I have done that I've gotten myself cos theta d theta I know that I can't really do the substitution entirely I have a substitution for cos theta d theta but I don't have a substitution for the other factor which is cos square theta so I can split it up into cos square theta and I can recall that cos square theta is 1 minus sine square theta so if I replace it by 1 minus sine square theta this becomes 1 minus x square cos theta d theta gets replaced by dx and then it becomes a very easy integral to solve I can solve the integral and then I can replace x by sine theta let's have a look at another example the original integral looks a bit complicated but I've been given a substitution which is x is equal to 4 sine theta I differentiated it I got dx by d theta as 4 cos theta and hence 4 cos theta d theta would be equal to dx so I can replace dx as 4 cos theta d theta and place of x I can replace 4 sine theta whole square in the beginning this looks like a very complicated integral and even after substitution it initially looks to be little complicated but when I start solving it like 4 square becomes 16 and I take root of 16 outside common I'll be left with under root 1 minus sine square theta here I can apply the trigonometric identity and replace sine square theta as cos square theta and hence that becomes cos theta and cos theta and cos theta cancels out 4 and 4 cancels out and look how easy your integral becomes it's just a d theta integral that integrates as theta and once you've gotten yourself theta as your answer you can find theta from the original substitution and replace it so you know that the, the 4 is going to get divided on the other side and then you take sine inverse of so sine inverse x upon 4 will be the replacement of theta and that's how you would get your integral now one more thing that I really would want you to identify is the fact that if you are given a definite integral with limits and as I've already mentioned that the substitution has to be entirely so that means you are not only substituting the variables but you're also substituting the limits as well so I know I'm going to replace x minus 4 as u square I differentiated it I got myself the substitution for dx as 2u du and I also needed a substitution of x minus 1 so I can rearrange this equation as x minus 1 is equal to 3 plus u square 
Once I've gotten all the substitution, I also have to make a note of the point that I have lower limit four, so I'm gonna put four in the substitution to get the lower limit of u. And similarly, I'm gonna put five in the equation of substitution to get the upper limit. So please make note every time you do your substitution, you also have to substitute your limits. So once I have substituted the limits and I have simplified this integral, this actually simplifies into a very simple integral after um, canceling the square root and multiplying the products. Once I got that integral, I can apply the integration formula directly. U square integrates as u cube upon three, three cancels out, and u four integrates as u five upon five. And once the entire integration is being done, I can put down the limits, and once I put down the limits, I will be able to get myself the answer. Let's have a look at another example with the limits. I have to integrate x squared, one minus x to the power half dx. I will take the substitution, I'll differentiate it, and once I differentiate it, I know that dx is going to be replaced by minus two u du but I also have to substitute x squared. So I will rearrange this equation to get myself the substitution of x squared. That's gonna be one minus u squared being whole squared. Also, I will put down the lower limit to get the lower limit of the substituted variable and upper limit to get myself the upper limit of the substituted variable. And once I do that, I have put down my lower limit, upper limit, I have put down my function, so, um, and then I will start simplifying it. It simplifies into again an integral which is very easy to integrate. Please do not forget what you get as value of u for the lower limit goes in place of lower limit. And what you get as the value of upper limit for u goes in place of the upper limit as well. So you replace lower limit, you replace upper limit, and you replace the entire function. The integration of this function after doing some simplifications and product is very, very simple. You perform the process of integration applying the power formula and you put down the limits and you will get your constant answer as the answer of your definite integration. So I hope guys this uh, video helped you towards understanding how to use substitutions for integration, how are they useful, how they can make questions easier for you to solve. If this did help, I would really appreciate if you would give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.